New drama for BBC One, Down to the Deli with Michael French and Dennis Lawson. For the fabulous Bagel Boys. <laughs> So, Commander, am I going to a better place? I pushed for Barbados. There's been a murder. The badly decomposed body of a man was pulled from the Clyde early on Saturday morning. An official report suggests he was dead before he entered the water. He'd been stabbed 18 or 19 times. 19 times? That's how that happened in town. What's it got to do with us? Was he a Southsider? No. <clears throat> Car theft, petty vandalism, stolen patio furniture. We're the garden crime capital of the Western world, Morris. What's wrong with this place? And open land round about the cities shall you give unto the Levites. <clears throat> what? Numbers, chapter 35. After the conquest of Canaan, the Israelites were given land beyond the city limits. Somewhere they could make a haven. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you mean... Uh... Yes, sir. They got the suburbs. No tomato, thank you. Rachel. Look, let me speak to your mother again. It really isn't a disaster. You can get married without him, you know. Mrs. Plotnikoff, it isn't a disaster. Rachel! Wine glasses. No. No, I have. I have. Morning, Mrs. Wilson. Your daughter is driving me crazy. Don't wave a mail. I'm not a taxi. She reminds me of somebody else at that age. Mum says I was a prince. Mm. Exactly. Like the wine glasses. Does it look ready? In a minute. You're catering the Plotnik off to you tomorrow. Uh huh. The whole Megillah. Let's save our necks. Cash flow. 600 conditions. 40 pounds of potato salad. Enough chicken polkies to fill Ibrox. <laughs> what an order. How are you doing the polkies? A sense of impending suggestion here. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Tell all your friends. Oregano. Gives it a kick, you know. Good to mix things up. Make a change. Change, joy. That's what I love about Yiddish. It's such an expressive language. Hey, we agree. You sit, you eat, you don't express. I mean, take a simple word like oi. As I understand it, can mean disgust or pain or astonishment or uh... Rapture. Where's my Avril this morning? There is a leak again. Aww. I'm not shouting, I'm not raising my voice, I'm just saying. 
I mean, those pipes must be a hundred years old. Older. Lionel Rose, this place is falling apart. No, you'll just have to trust me. We'll make it work. Your father will be appalled. Listen, why don't you shout at Morris? He was his father as well. You're shouting at anyone. You're just saying. No, it won't ruin the theme. Well, someone around here has to remember we're running a business. I mean, tradition is all well and good, but this year It'll tradition is out. Discussed. Isn't that right, Rachel? Uh-huh. Rachel! Mm-hmm. In tradition is out. No, no, I'm couriering up four more boxes. Armed outriders, an escort. I mean, the two of you are hanging on to the past and it is not helping us. Off, please. I need to phone the plumber. Yeah, OK. Yes, yes, I promise you that will be fine. OK, goodbye now. Are we hanging on? By a thread. Gina. My dad. I think he's just crushed his car outside. Unlucky, really. I'm not going to believe this. Someone just parked their Audi on the. Morris, my daughter. I've killed her. Barely in the door. Not even in the door at all, technically. And he brings a murder. Now that's police work. Well done, Sergeant Murchison. Thank you, sir. As senior detective, D.I. Rose will naturally be in charge of the murder investigation. But I want you with him every step of the way. I can tell. You're going to be an asset, Sergeant. Here's what I thought when I first saw him. Asset. Sergeant Murchison joins us from the Met. We're I'm doing an exchange. Condolent. That'll be all for the moment, Sergeant. Inspector Rose, I'd, I'd just like to say that I'm, I'm looking forward to learning a great deal from you while I'm here. And exactly how long will that be for? Uh, thank you, Sergeant. Sir. So, what do you think of him? He interrupted my breakfast. Oh, Morris. Why give this Murchison to me? I need somebody local. What am I supposed to do with him? Well, you heard. He's here to learn. Show him how we do things in J-Division. I want you to help him assimilate. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, come on, a murder. This is it, Morris. This is it. 20 years I've been here. Even longer than you. Do you know how many murders I've had in my patch in that time? Oh, yes. But we've got a confession. Trust me. There's less to this than meets the eye. Of course it's funny, Mr. Plotnikov. No, you've had three weeks to come back to me on this speech. No, it's not too Jewish. No, but you can't take out the wine joke. Because it's hilarious. And it leads you seamlessly onto the toast. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Plotnikov. No, 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 they've not arrived yet. Well? Could be worse. It is funny, isn't it? Huh? Funny, yes, funny, funny. In places. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. Not sure about the wine jug. Ah. Good morning, Mr. Rose. No. no, you can't do this to us. Not today, Malcolm. Lionel. Sergeant. Sir. For the benefit of the tape, Detective Inspector Rose has entered the room at 11.22. This is Mr. Gerald. S- Morris. In for dinner? Might be a bit late. Dad wants me to up my billable hours. Hmm. I'd like it noted for the record that my client has voluntarily submitted himself to this interview. I'd also like it noted Mr. Strait withdraws the rash statement he made earlier 
He's been under a lot of pressure. Noted and noted. Now, let's get this cleared up so we can all get on. They've killed her. Don't be ridiculous. Where is she, John? John, where is she? Sarah Strait went to South America last month backpacking. We tried to get in touch, but, well, as far as we know, she's still there. Gerald, take him home. Look after him. Bring him back when he's talking sense. Interesting technique, sir. Letting the suspect go free like that. Don't detect a note of disapproval, Sergeant. Perhaps they do things differently in the Met. London Met to Glasgow suburbia. We're a bit off our beaten path, wouldn't you say? Well, new place, new challenges. As I said, I'm keen to learn. Then here is lesson one. In ancient Jewish law, the penalty for many crimes dependent on the risk factor. The lower the risk of being caught, the higher the penalty. Mm -hmm. So if you are caught stealing an ox from a crowded market, no big deal. Slap on the wrist, community service. Getting caught stealing an ox from an open field, however, meant big trouble. In fact, the only way you can get into more trouble was by nicking the ox that was always wandering off. You see, it's the one that strays from the beaten path that causes all the trouble, Sergeant. The third ox? The third ox. I'll be sure to look out for it. We're the police. We're a powerful brand. We should project a powerful image, not the power of bliss. Inspector! Ah, Pierre Carroll. I wish you would have called me that. I mean, you don't call her desk Sergeant Carroll now, do you? No, that would be ridiculous. So, have you read my crisis manual yet? I don't need a manual. I've got a brother. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a murder to investigate. Murder? This is why we need the manual. Why wasn't I informed? Need to know. Chain of command. Nobody likes you. I have to brief the superintendent. We have to put out a consistent message. I'll draft the memo. All food production must cease whilst the inspection takes place. I don't believe this. We're just about to start serving lunch. We have so much to do for the Plotnikov wedding. Could you not just come back another day? Then it wouldn't be a spot check, would it? I'm temporarily suspending your Bifton approval. As of now, this is no longer a kosher kitchen. Sergeant, why don't you take the lead here? Show me some of that procedure you Met boys are famous for. Yes, sir, certainly. Any local advice? Yes. Don't be distracted by anything shiny. So how can I help you, officers? It's about Mr. Strait. Old Mr. Strait or young Mr. Strait? Mr. John Strait. <laughs> Old John or young John? Mr. John Strait, Caucasian male, dark hair going grey, five foot eight, blue eyes. We're investigating a claim by your managing director that he killed his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I'm not kosher. Neither am I. Oh, just give me the damn sandwich, Lionel A. I have 200 people coming to see my angel married tomorrow. 47 out of towners, six of them all the way from Miami. First it was the wine glasses. Now you're telling me I have no buffet. You call yourself a wedding planner. <laughs> hey, there's a bathing inspector in my kitchen. What do you want us to do? An inspector? What's wrong with your kitchen? You didn't tell me there was a problem with your kitchen. I didn't say we had a problem. Well, of course it's a problem. Otherwise, why would an inspector be in there? Oh, look, just give me it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Have you read the Old Testament? Malcolm, what is this? It's a chicken pokey. Haven't you read the Torah's prohibition of eating the thigh muscle? 
Because an angel wrestled with the patriarch Jacob and dislocated his hip, we are forbidden to eat any part of the thigh muscle of an animal. That only applies to cattle. In 30 years, I have never heard of a chicken falling under that 